I'm John, I'll be your Canadian. <laughs> My name is John Wing, I've lived in the United States for 25 years, but I'm still a Canadian citizen. Thank you. <laughs> because, well, I like to travel. <laughs> and it's safer. And I know, I live in the States and I'm, my accent has changed a little, but I'm still a Canadian. You can tell I'm a Canadian. Look at me. I think evolution is a fact. <laughs> it should probably be taught in schools. I think gay people should be allowed to get married. And I think French people are just a little bit better than everyone else on the planet. <laughs> and so do they. I think Canada is the greatest country in the world. <laughs> but I'm much too polite to say it. Americans don't have any problem saying it. We're the greatest country in the history of the world. <laughs> well, first of all, as a Canadian, I find it fascinating that Americans are always invoking the history of the world, about which they know nothing. So they're really saying, we're the greatest country in the history of America. <laughs> Everything Americans brag about is big, it's huge. It, it, as though the whole nation is compensating for its small penis. <laughs> Which is, I'm sorry to say, a consequence of evolution, my friends. <laughs> Whatever they talk about, though, it's gotta be, it's gotta be the greatest the greatest nation in the history of the world, the greatest generation, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Even their cereal, Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. They're great! They cause diabetes, the greatest disease ever. <laughs> but this is a show about uh, the American dream. And you may be wondering what a Canadian is doing here, but we Canadians, we have an American dream. Don't we? We dream of leaving Canada, becoming famous and rich in America. Like Jim Carrey, Wayne Gretzky, Conrad Black. <laughs> okay, bad example. My dream was to become a celebrity in the United States, so millions of people would care about me. Instead of a Canadian celebrity, where dozens of people would think I was neat. The American election is, is only a few months away, and it's, it's an important election, the most important election in the history of the world. <laughs> are, the Canadian elections aren't really that important, are they? And if you don't believe me, look who we elect. <laughs> and I, I, I do like it here because we do have political differences. In the U.S., there's really, what, only two parties, Democrats, Republicans. In Canada, we have almost three. Yeah. It does seem like we have a lot of parties here, but they're all really just collector lane parties. Eventually they merge into one of the main parties, right? U.S. has the Tea Party now, that's a, that's a wrinkle. A small, dedicated, fanatical group who hold the government hostage to their every whim, or as we would call it here, uh, Quebec. <laughs> yeah, more or less.